morning, my name is Mrs. Reisner and we are at Longdale Elementary School with Mrs. Kratzert's first grade class. This is a STEAM class and this morning we will be working with the Code and Go mice. Okay guys, what is coding and who uses it in their job? So first of all, tell me what is coding with a quiet hand? Who can tell me? When you put information in something, very good. Yes? Um, oh, well, who uses it in their job? Who uses it in their job? People who make um, wireless headphones, who else? People who make technology. Technology. People who make iPads. iPads. Tablets. Tablets. Smartphones? Computers. Computers. Okay, so this morning what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using the Code and Go mice. Remember we've used these before? Yes. Okay, so let's take a peek at it. Let's go over some of the things that are on the Code and Go mice. Remember, we never push or pull the Code and Go mice because these wheels are very delicate. Very delicate and we wouldn't want to break them, would we? No. Also on the bottom, on the belly, is the on and off switch, okay, and it makes that noise when you turn them on. We only put it to normal, we don't put it to hyper, okay, and it also has the little magnet right here on its nose, okay. And remember the yellow means to what? Clear. Clear. You clear it. And today we're not going to use the red button, but we are going to use the blue button, which means to go forward. forward or the yellow button, which means to go backwards. backwards, and the purple button means to turn right, and the orange button means to turn left, okay? And all of that is up here. Now this green button is very important because that green button means to go. go. So after we put our information in or our code, we push the green button and that means to go. Okay, so we ready for our challenge today? Thumbs up if you're ready. Woohoo! All right. So, today's challenge is can you can your team build a maze for your mouse, code it through the maze and have your mouse get the cheese. So, I'm going to read all the criteria to you. You can only use the 30 planks that are in your box. Your team can only build one maze and you have to build it together. All of you must take a turn coating your mouse through the maze. You have to place your cheese at the end of the maze and build your maze on the tile floor. Your, must, your maze must have one turn in it, and we're going to talk about that in one second. So your goal is to use all 30 planks, get your mouse through the maze, and get the cheese. Okay, so this is what I mean. Everybody? knows what a maze is. Thumbs up if you know what a maze is. All right, so I'm going to remind you real quick. Remember the Kiva planks? When we're doing a maze, you can build, you can build them going flat, Keegan, or you can build them on their sides. We're not going to build them going up today, okay? On their sides or going flat, okay? Now, this is what I mean by that turn. Remember, you can't turn the mouse. The mouse does not turn like your mom's car. It goes right angle turns. So this is your right angle turn. Okay, so that's your one turn that you have to have. Can you have more than one turn? No. Yes. Who says yes? Thumbs up if you say yes. Yes, you can have more than one turn, of course, but you have to have at least one turn, okay? So I turn my mouse on, it makes that noise, right? And we're going to take turns coding. Come right over here. Remember when we take turns coding, we have to do what first? Press the yellow button. Press the yellow button. How many times do you think I should go forward? Maybe like three times. Okay. Yay! Okay, now I took a turn, so whose turn is it to code next? Yes, so you take a turn. So what are we going to do next? We should make it turn right. Okay, so what are you going to do? Press the 
Excellent. And then. And. Excellent. Okay. Do you see how we're taking turns? Who will have the next turn? I will. Okay. So after we build all our, our maze, the entire maze, we are going to put our mouse cheese at the very end. Okay. So that. Okay. And when you hear that noise, that means it's what? It got, the it got the cheese. Okay. Thumbs up if you understand. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So today's challenge is going to focus on collaboration, communication, and creative thinking. Raise a quiet hand if you can tell me what collaboration means. What that, does that mean to collaborate? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> to work together. Who can tell me what does it mean to communicate? Communicate. You got to talk to each other, don't you? And creative thinking. What does it mean to be creative? Think of original ideas, don't you? Okay, but in order to do that, you have to do all of these two things as well. Okay, so I want to see everybody working together. Does anybody have any questions about what we're doing today? No. Yes. Are we going to like build something like a house or something? What do you, no, what are you building? A what? Um, a, maze. a maze. So you build the maze and you're going to code your mouse through it to get the what? Cheese. To get the cheese. Okay. All right, so let's stand up. What's the very first thing you're going to do after you uh, get your mouse? You're going to do what? Start doing what? Build, Build your maze. Oh my goodness, there's a good looking maze. Do you have one turn? Yes, you do. Nice. Well, first of all, check your mouse size. Is it going to fit here? Take your mouse and put it here. Is it going to fit? No, it's not going to fit. So what do we need to make it a little bit what? A little bit bigger. Did you use all your Kiva planks? Yes. So what do we need to kind of do to this? We need to kind of... We also made something that was a little cool, like a little dead end. Right. Right, but is that what we really need to focus on? What is our focus? One what? We had to have one what in our maze? Turn. One turn. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? We, we pressed it too much. Too many times. Let's try that again. Let's go back. So we were here, correct? Try that again. Hit the yellow button. So you want to just hit the turn how many times? How many times? Well, wait a minute. we got to turn first. How many times do you want to hit that turn button? Really? You just want to make one what? Yeah, you just want to make one turn. We're not moving forward. We're just turning. There you go. Now, how many forward do you want to make? I like your redesign. Please keep sharing this time. 
What worked well for you? What worked well for you and your partner? What worked well? Yes. Building the maze. The maze was easy for you? What worked well for you and your team? Turning the mouse around. Oh, turning the mouse, making it turn. What worked well for you? Coding the mouse. Very good. Okay, what was challenging for you and your team? What was challenging for you and your team? Yes, it was hard, huh? So you had yeah. getting that maze just right for that mouse. Yeah, that's the same thing that I haven't done. Uh-huh. What was difficult for your group? It was like getting getting through the maze and having the Uh-huh. What was difficult, Keegan? Ah, oh, problem solving, huh? You had to think of a redesign, huh? That was a little bit challenging. All right, what could you change for next time? What would you change for next time? The maze. The maze. The maze. What would you change for next time? I would change how the maze was like um, not as wide, so the mouse could actually like not have broken the block. Oh. Oh, very good. What would you change? I would change, oh, oh, like putting the blocks flat instead of flat. Oh, changing the, where, the way you had the blocks, putting them flat instead of up on their side. Yes. Very good. Anybody else want to change something for next time when we build the maze? Yes. I want to change the blocks into, this, into their sides. On their sides. Instead of on the flat. Right. Very good. Very good job, guys. Okay. Thank you for joining our STEAM class today in our Code and Go mouse lesson. Go, go Tigers and Go Coding! Go.